energy breakfast smoothie. So let's get started. So obviously making a smoothie you're going to need a blender and into the blender I've got two big handfuls of spinach going in. So this is great for iron and if you've never made a smoothie with greens before you won't even taste this in there. It's just nice and smooth and creamy in the end and a great way to get in some extra antioxidants and nice healthy greens. A great way to start the day. To that I'm adding about half of a large cantaloupe. So I've just cubed that up just to help the blender out a little bit. And now this combination is really really good for you. The rock melon is really high in vitamin C and that will actually help with the absorption of the iron in the spinach. So it's a great combination to have. Next, I'm adding about a cup and a half of red grapes. And red grapes are really great for increasing your blood flow. So it's good for the heart and good for the brain. And again, a nice anti-inflammatory fruit as well to include in this breakfast. I'm also going to add just a little bit of crushed ice, but if you wanted to, you could actually freeze your fruit and then there's no need to add any ice into this. And Next I'm going to add just a small avocado. Now I saw this trick somewhere online yesterday so I thought I'd try it. I've peeled this avocado and supposedly I can just push it along this glass and get it out. But it's not working for me. <laughs> That didn't work, did it? That's a big mess. I think I might have to have a firmer avocado for that. I'm just going to peel the skin off this other half of the avocado. It's just a really, really soft avocado. So there we go. One small avocado in there. If you wanted a lighter option for this, instead of the avocado, you could add some bananas. Even some frozen banana is really good. If you get them on sale, it's really great. You can peel them, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, and then add them to your smoothies. And it just makes it really, really creamy and really yummy. Okay, so to this mixture, you can add just water and top it up. Or what I'm going to do today is actually add some coconut water. I like adding coconut water. It has calcium in it. And I just really, really like the taste of that coconut water mixed with all the fruits as a smoothie. So I'm making quite a large amount. I've added in 700 ml or 7.6 fluid ounces, one pint, whichever measurements you prefer. I've added that into this mixture and now it's ready to blend it up. Okay, so this has been blending for about a minute now and if you prefer a sweeter smoothie you can al always add in some dates as well. Dates are really good, I just don't have any on hand today. So this is ready to go. I would have this in a, over a, about an hour or two in the morning, I'd just sip away at it. But um, you could use it to serve two or three people depending on how much you want to eat or if you're having something else as well you might be having toast etc or cereal as well so it's up to you how many serves you want to make out of this now just for something a little bit different I'm going to decorate this glass and I've got a little bit of rice syrup here brown rice syrup and I'm just going to go across the top of this glass to make it sticky. And then I've got a mixture of some chia seeds and some coconut flakes. So I'm just going to dip this glass in here now. And I've got a piece of the cantaloupe that I've sliced up and a piece of well, one grape and that's ready to pour my smoothie into. Mm. Yum, that 
a delicious breakfast right there, ready to go. And when it looks good, it tastes even better. I'll give it a try. Oh, yum. Sweet and delicious. I'm ready to drink this and have a nice energy boost for the morning. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. It's just a nice, quick, easy, healthy way to start your day. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you for the next recipe. Bye for now.